Here we see the Alexander Park War Memorial, which was made by Margaret Windsor. It was commissioned to remember the 1,250 people of the Hastings Borough that died in World War I. On its unveiling on the 26th of March 1922, approximately 10,000 people attended, including 800 family members who were left behind. The monument now also has the names of the service people that lost their lives in World War II. Here we see the bandstand. This little thing has had an interesting past. It was moved from White Rock to the Marine in 1901, as they were building a new bandstand there. It was not very popular down the marina, and there was even allegations of a plot to burn it down. Because of this, at 4am on August the 14th, 1901, it was moved to Alexandra Park. Once the lockdown is over and things get back to normal, we are hoping to have many sunny days down here watching the entertainment. Burn. Burn, burn, you ugly hexagonal thing, you monstrosity of trumpets, pipes and drums, you second-rate stand-in. Burn, 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 you eyesore of horrors, you heartbreaker, impregnator, sullying the pretty shoreline with your huge white pillars. Burn, 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 you oversized birdcage, you freak show, you 19th century failure, you meaningless dome of nobody who will admit it. Take her away, to the pond, to the safe place, the sweet space, forever at peace. Take her at dawn, to the park, to the warm part. She looks so smart. Please protect her from harm. Rise, 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 you treasure, you shelter, you beauty and glory for all who walk by and stop to gaze at your delicate features. Rise, 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 you totem of music, you future treasure, you phoenix, you phoenix. Rise, rise, rise. Everything you are, we now love and cherish. You waited and have earned it. You handsome bandstand. This is the Peace Garden. The inspiration for this was brought about after the tragic events in New York City on September 11, 2001, 
Artists from all around have worked on the gardens, even including the kids from the local schools that have made the mosaics in the flower beds. The gardens were opened on September 11, 2006, and I look forward to coming back and seeing them in full bloom. Go to the park and you can see the mysterious deciduous jinko tree, a living fossil you know from millions of years ago. Its leaves are used to make tea. So I noticed this last year, it's a horse chestnut tree in Alexandra Park. It's by the bridge, but it's like a little bit um, west of the calf. And it has all these, um, it had all these new growth leaves coming from the trunk, but pure white in color. It's kind of spooky and um, quite striking. And I took a couple of photos of it. It, it looks like something from a Louisiana swamp or, or something like that. Uh, when I got home I googled it and I couldn't find anything like it at all. There's a thing called leaf blotch which horse chestnut trees suffer from but it doesn't really look the same and um, it definitely doesn't make the leaves go white like this. You know and I'm there I'm googling things like um, like doing an image search for horse chestnut white leaves and nothing at all. There's nothing looks no one's put anything online that looks remotely like this and I know not everything is on the internet, but you'd think something as striking and unusual, as unusual looking as this would would have been spotted by somebody somewhere else. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a genuine mystery. Um, right now it's mid-April and, and the, I went back and had a look and the tree is just starting to come into leaf again and there are small new leaves growing from the trunk again, and um, but they're just normal green colour, there's no white ones, so maybe, maybe it was some kind of one-off event. Maybe we'll never know. In 2013, a group of volunteers plus a park ranger hacked their way into a derelict greenhouse in Alexandra Park, and this sowed the seeds for the formation of the Alexandra Park Greenhouse Group. The greenhouse was originally purchased by Hastings Council in 1934 from Richardson's of Darlington. The vision is to restore this lovely teak and cast iron greenhouse and turn it back into a wonderful and vibrant space for the whole community to use and enjoy. In the top section of the park, on the way to Buckshoal Reservoir, you will find the Calibiate Spring. Originally in open farmland, Robert Marnock incorporated this feature into Alexandra Park in 1980. The underground spring supplies a steady flow of foul, iron-rich water, once drunk for its alleged health-giving properties. 